Well, Ajax is my home. I've lived in this community my entire life, and I have a deep passion for trying to make a difference, uh, not only on a national level, but right here in our home community. And uh, whether or not it was as a member of parliament or my time as a municipal councillor at Durham Region, um, I've had a record of standing up and fighting for what matters to people in this community, standing up and fighting for what they care about. Uh, and I think you have to live here and be here to, to get what matters to residents. The decision to run again was not an easy one. The reality is politics is uh, a challenging life and uh, being outside of it was a lot more balanced, a lot more time for family and friends. And a career that I loved with the Hard Stroke Foundation, getting a chance to make a difference in people's lives. But I look at what's happening in Ottawa and uh, I, I fundamentally feel I can't sit on the sidelines. The Canada that we see led by Stephen Harper is, is not a one that I believe in. The Canada that uh, Chris Alexander is representing as Immigration Minister is not one that I feel represents the values of this community or the historic values of the country. Uh, the reality is we're a country that's been made strong by inclusiveness and bringing people together. The politics of division, of putting one group against another, of using power as an end, uh, of using politics as a weapon and power as a weapon to destroy dissent and differing opinions uh, is something that has to end. And for those of us that disagree with it, we have a role to step up and try to make a difference. Talking to folks in Ajax and knocking on the doors of neighbours, uh, I'm struck by how much people are struggling, by how much Ottawa is disconnected from the day-to-day -day, uh, challenges that they face, whether or not it's raising their kids or worrying about their future education or even finding a job or getting to work. Uh, the reality is there are huge challenges uh, that, that families right here in Ajax are facing uh, that Ottawa isn't doing anything to, to deal with. Uh, people need a uh, change that's going to work for them, that's going to create jobs and growth and opportunity, make sure that they have money to be able to spend to support their families and be able to enjoy a good life and at the same time help contribute to the overall economy. Uh, they see a culture in Ottawa that's focused on power and uh, in the conservative self-interest. Uh, they see a, a government that is more concerned about attacking enemies um, than bringing the country together and helping make uh, our economy and our country better. So in my, in my feeling that there's no question that we need change uh, to change the culture in Ottawa and to shift it back to helping people and making a difference in their lives. If I'm given the privilege of serving Ajax again as Member of Parliament, you can count on seeing what you saw before. Somebody who's going to passionately stand up and fight for you. Somebody who's going to stand up and fight for the things that matter to Ajax, whether or not it's infrastructure, jobs, uh, children's education, or ensuring that everybody's got a fair shot at enjoying a good life. The reality is politics should be a vehicle to make change. Politics should be about standing up and serving. And you know that whether or not I was a councillor, whether or not as a member of parliament, or whether or not in a Heart and Stroke Foundation, uh, that I used politics and I used public service as a way to serve other people. And you can count on me being a member of parliament who will continue to do exactly that.